Hi everyone, I'm Sinead and welcome to this Pilates at Home session. All you need is yourself and a mat. We're going to start off in all fours today. So come into an all fours position with your hands directly in line with your shoulders and your knees directly in line with your hips. So have a look between the legs. There should be a gap between the knees. Spread through the fingers with the middle fingers facing forward. Relax through the shoulders and the shoulder blades and pull your belly button up towards that lower back to flatten through the lumbar spine, engaging your tummy muscles, finding your 30% connection. Just breathe in through the nose, send the breath to the front, the side, the back of the rib cage. Exhale out through the mouth with a HA sound. Squeeze out the breath till you feel a tightening in the waist. Breathing in, filling up and exhaling out squeezing the breath out. Now as you breathe in, just bring the body weight forward towards your fingertips and as you exhale, shift the body weight back but not too far towards the knees. Inhale, we're coming forward, feel the body weight shift, the fingers make a white and as you exhale out through the mouth, Feel the release in the arms and the weight going back to the lower part of your body. Two more times like this, breathing in. Keep the tummy muscles engaged. Exhale out, shift the body weight back. And last time, breathing in. Going forward and exhaling out, going back. Come back into your strong all fours position now. So make sure the fingers are spread. You have that Spider-Man or suction grip here. Very small movement. As you inhale, you're gonna spin the insides of the elbows forward. And as you exhale, release, trying to turn the inner inside of the elbows back towards your thighs as much as you can. So breathing in, you're flipping or trying to turn the insides of your elbows forward. As you exhale, insides of the elbows are going in towards each other and maybe back. Breathing in, forward and breathing out, back. So you're moving here from the shoulders. You'll feel it in the shoulders and back. Breathe in, going forward and exhaling, turning back. Now press the base of the thumb into the floor as you do it. Exhale, release, last two, breathe in and breathe out. Last one, breathe in and breathe out. Relax, you're gonna shift that body weight back, flip the palms up towards the ceiling and then just try to bend or bend the fingers and the thumbs, press the front of the wrist into the mat, like claw hands. You're gonna turn the palms of your hands in towards your biceps, press your elbows, your forearms into the floor, a wrist strengthening exercise, hold it, breathe in and breathe out. One more deep breath in here and breathe out. Release the hands, you're gonna walk forward on the forearms and the elbows. Keep the bum in the air to start with. Your elbows are in line with your shoulders. You're gonna slide the knees back Come into a half plank position on your forearms, on your elbows. So take a deep breath in, tuck the tail under. As you exhale, lower those hips down. Engage through the tummy muscles. We're gonna hold here for five breath cycles. Make two fists, inhale through the nose, press into those forearms and elbows, exhale out. <sighs> Breathing in, press into the outer edges of the hands. Exhale out, squeeze the breath out. Inhale through the nose and exhale out through the mouth. See if you can tuck the tail even more. Breathe in and breathe out. One more deep breath in and breathe out. Reach the hips back, push the armpits towards the floor. Now you're gonna lower those hips down again, but this time tuck the toes under. So you're gonna push back with the heels. So slowly lower back down into your half plank position. Engage with the tummy muscles, tuck the tail under, push into those forearms. Inhale, lift up onto the right ball of your foot and then exhale, lower down. Left, breathe in and breathe out. Try and keep those hips steady. Inhale, lengthen through the right leg and exhale, lower. The feet do not leave the floor. Breathe in, lengthen through the left leg and exhale, lower. Two more sets, breathe in right leg and exhale, lower. Push back with the heel, inhale, left leg. Brace your tummy muscles. One more set, breathe in, breathe out. Last one, inhale and exhale. Lower the hips all the way down to the mat. Bring your forearms out wider from the body. Make space for your rib cage, for your chest. Untuck the toes and point through the feet. 
point through the toes, so much so that the kneecaps lift, press the front of the feet into the floor. Feeling that length in the front of the legs, in the quads, and then release, but keep a little bit of pressure in the front of your feet. Widen the arms out, a wide W shape or W letter shape. Breathing in, we're gonna lift up just the head and the chest. Exhale, lower down with control. Breathing in, lift up, floating up, moving from the thoracic or the mid spine. Exhale out, lower down, inhale, lift. And exhale, lower down. Two more like this, and then we're gonna add swimming with bent elbows. Exhale, lower back down, last one. Inhale, we float up, engaging through the spine, pressing the hips into the floor. Exhale, lower down. Right arm, left leg lifts. Arm stays in the same position or same shape. And then lower down with control. Leg stays straight, breathe in, left arm, right leg. Keep the right hip bone pressed into the floor and breathe out, lower down, inhale, float up, right arm, left leg. The head just comes along with you. So you're not moving from the neck. If you have any neck problems or you feel there's too much strain on the neck, you can leave your forehead on the floor and just move from the shoulders and the hips, breathe in. Exhale, lower back down. Breathing in, finding more range, especially with the shoulder. See if you can lift the arm a little bit higher so that your forearm comes in line with your ear, or your hand even in line with your ear. Exhale, lower down with control. Breathe in, left arm, right leg. Lift it up. Feel it in the glutes, the hamstrings. Exhale, lower down. Point the toes more. See if you can make your leg longer. Exhale, lower down. Breathe in, we lift up. And exhale, we lower down. One more set. Right arm, left leg lifts. And exhale, lower down, left arm, right leg. Lift it up. And exhale, lower down. Place your left hand out in front of your forehead. Reach back with the right hand and pull your right heel to your bum. Then the right elbow up towards the ceiling. If you want to go that bit further, you slide your forearm closer to your chest. Lift through the chin, coming up a little higher. But if you feel this is too much, you can keep the forehead on the hand. Inhale. Exhale, keep pressing your thigh into the floor and release. Switch forearms, right arm comes out in front, reach back, take hold of the left foot from the outside, press the hips into the floor, press the thigh into the floor, pull the heel to the bum, bend the left elbow, lift higher if it feels good, if it doesn't, lower down, breathe in and breathe out. One more deep breath in and breathe out, lower back down to the floor. Reach your arms back now. So palms facing up. You're going to tuck the chin in. We're going to lift everything up. Breathe in. Lift arms, chest, legs, and exhale. Lower down. Keep the palms facing up for the first two. Inhale, we lift. And exhale, we lower down. Now we're going to flip it. So breathe in. We lift up. Palms are facing up, exhale, flip the palms to face down, spread through the fingers. Breathe in, palms facing up, maybe squeeze the fingers here. Adding a little bit every time, exhale, separate through the fingers as you lower down. Keep those legs straight, breathe in, squeeze the fingers, palms facing up. Exhale, spread through those fingers as you lower down. Breathe in, lift and squeeze. And exhale, spread and lower back down. Breathe in, we lift and squeeze. And exhale, we lower back down. Last two like this. Breathe in, we lift and squeeze. Exhale, we spread and lower down. One more time, breathe in, we lift and squeeze. And exhale, we lower back down. Arms gonna come out right in front of your face now or out in front of the body. Spread through the fingers. And then you're going to come up onto the fingertips and press the fingertips into the floor. Keep the elbows up off the mat. Feel it in the wrists. Feel the strength in the wrists, in the hands, and release. Hands of the hands are on the floor. To start with, inhale, we lift everything. So arms and legs, keep the hip bones pressed into the floor. Hold it, exhale. Now breathe in, you're going to pull your elbows down to your ribcage. Lift the chin here. Exhale, we stretch out, look down. Breathe in, squeeze through the sides of the back and exhale. If this is too much with the legs lifted, 
we lower the feet to the floor. If it's too much for the upper body, you can have the fingertips on the floor and you can slide them in and out. Inhale and exhale, stretch. Two more, breathe in and breathe out, look down. Last one, inhale and exhale. Lower down to the floor, turn your head to the right, rest your left ear on the floor, keep the arms just straight up over the head, but allow the elbows to rest. Take a deep breath in, send the breath to the lower part of your back. Exhale, let it go. One more deep breath in, feel the lower back lift and lengthen. And exhale, let it go. You're gonna place the hands to the lower part of your back now, holding one of your hands. We're gonna stretch through those legs, point through the toes, feel the kneecaps lift as the quadriceps engage. Stretch through the upper body, lengthen through the arms. You can let go of a hand if you need to. Tuck the chin in, lift the legs up, and we're gonna kick from here. So swimming legs only, as fast as you can. Up, down, up, down, with straight legs. Point through the toes, it's gonna help you keep those knees straight or stop them from bending. If you want, you can lift the chest higher, move as fast as you can, keep the hip bones on the floor, the pubic bone stays on the mat, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Last two breath cycles, exhale. One more deep breath in and breathe out. Rest the arms down by your side with the palms facing up this time. Allow the elbows, the upper arms rest on the floor. The shoulder blades man. Turn your head to the left. Rest your right ear on the mat and send the breath to the mid part of your back. So deep breath in. Exhale out, let it go. One more deep breath in. And exhale out, let it go. You're going to place your hands in underneath your shoulders. Turn your head to center. Push yourself up and reach the hips back. If you can, bring your bum to your heels and stack or bring one forearm out in front of the other and rest the head down. If this doesn't work for you, you can stack fists and rest the head down this way. But wherever you are, make sure there's a place for your head to rest. Take a deep breath in. Send the breath in between the shoulder blades, the upper back. Exhale, release. One more deep breath in here. And exhale out, let it go. Coming into a seated position now, extend the legs out straight and find your tall spine. So the, your ear, your shoulder and your hips should be in line. So if you have tight hamstrings or you find it hard to sit tall, start to bend those knees a little bit to lift the chest and open. So I'm going to straighten my legs out and squeeze your feet together, squeeze the insides of the knees together and extend the arms out in front of you. But don't bring the shoulders with you, pull the shoulder blades back, palms facing up. We're going to breathe in, pull back with the belly button, rounding through the lower back, allow those legs to slide, come down only a little bit. So think a quarter of the distance down to the mat or maybe halfway down. We're going to flip the palms towards our thighs. Inhale, reach the arms up. So you're lifting through the chest, but you're keeping the round shape in the lower back. And then exhale, arms coming down out in front. Inhale, spread through those fingers, lift up. Exhale, squeeze through the fingers as you bring them out in front of the shoulders. Breathe in, spread, lift through the chest, but keep the roundness in the lower back. As if you're doing a Mexican wave, you're going to inhale, spread, look up. Exhale, squeeze, lower down. Keep the core engaged. Maybe there's a shake there, it doesn't matter. As long as you're engaging and bracing through the abs and the legs. Last two, breathe in. Breathe out. One more deep breath in. Breathe out. Inhale, flip the palms. Exhale, roll all the way down onto the mat. You're gonna reach your arms up over your head and link the thumbs, allowing those elbows bend. So you're forming a wide diamond shape with your arms. The upper arms and the lower arms are resting. Bend your knees up towards the ceiling. The knees and the feet are hip width apart. And make sure the lower back is pressed firmly into the floor. But don't press in so much that the bum is lifting. Allow the bum to be still on the floor, the base of the bum. Inhale, we're gonna lift the right leg into tabletop. Exhale, lower down. So with the arms out of the equation, it should be harder to keep that lower back engaged Breathe in and breathe out, or the lower back pressed into the floor and stabilizing through the hips and the pelvis here. So the hip bones stay in line, 
you're marching with the feet, but that foot that's on the floor is very lightly placed on the floor. Breathe in, you're lifting into tabletop. Exhale, you're lowering down. Breathe in and breathe out. <sighs> Inhale, lift and exhale, lower down. Breathe in, lift and exhale, lower down. So notice the chest is open. Are the back of your rib cages, or is, is the back of your rib cage pressed into the floor? Press it down. Inhale, lift the right leg. Exhale, lower down. Last time, left leg. Breathe in and breathe out. <sighs> arms coming out wide from the body now. Palms facing up towards the ceiling. Relax the arms. Lift the right leg into tabletop. Inhale. Exhale, left leg comes to join. Squeeze the knees and the feet together. No gap between the knees. Engage the core. Inhale. Allow the knees come halfway to the right and turn your head to the left. Keep that left shoulder on the floor. Exhale, bring it back through the center. <sighs> Breathe in. Knees going halfway to the left and exhale. Come back through the center. So looking in the opposite direction. Breathing in, you're twisting. Anchoring with the opposite shoulder. Exhale. Breathe in, twist and look in the opposite direction if you want. Exhale, feel those obliques starting to work. Breathe in and breathe out. <sighs> Inhale, twist and exhale. Bring it back through the center. Breathe in and breathe out. <sighs> Last time like this, breathe in and breathe out. Hug your two knees into your chest. Gently rock from side to side. Cross the ankles. And bring the arms overhead again. This time, just keep the arms straight, palms facing up. Knees are bent in line with your shoulders or as wide as your shoulders. The ankles are crossed, hooked together. Gently rock from side to side. And you're just bringing the body weight from left to right, the lower back, like a pendulum. You're moving that kind of swaying semicircle. Inhale. And exhale, feeling a lovely massage in the base of the spine, the sacrum, but also activating those lower tummy muscles with that bit of a lift on either side. Breathe in and breathe out. One more deep breath in and breathe out. Hands coming to the backs of the legs now. Stretch your legs up towards the ceiling. Legs, join them together. Press your hands into your hamstrings at the same time. Push back with those hamstrings. Press the lower back into the floor. Arms come out wide. You're gonna inhale, lower the legs a quarter of the distance to the right. As you do, flip the two palms to the floor, moving from the shoulders. Exhale, back through the center, flip the palms up. Breathing in, legs a quarter of the distance. Don't let one of those legs be longer than the other. Exhale, back through the center. So the legs are glued together. Breathing in, twisting, palms coming down, moving from the shoulders. And exhale, use that breath to bring you back. So easier version, you're just gonna bend the knees. Breathe in and breathe out. Two more sets, breathe in. And breathe out, flip the palms up. <sighs> breathe in, flip the palms down, legs to the left, head to the right. Exhale, flip the palms up. Last set, breathe in. And breathe out. <sighs> One more time, breathe in. And breathe out. Drop the left leg towards the skirting board. Two hands come to the back of the right leg. Lift through the upper body. Look in between the legs. Walk your hands up to your calf. If you've got good flexibility, breathe in, pull twice. Breathe out, switch. Inhale, exhale. Breathe in, pull twice. Breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Inhale and exhale now switch point through the toes inhale and exhale getting movement into the front of the feet or a stretch on the front of the feet pulling twice using those arms and exhale out breathe in and breathe out last two inhale and exhale 
exhale out and relax hug your knees into your chest gently rock from side to side we're going to place the hands to the backs of the legs now big toes together inhale make a v with the legs exhale bend the knees come up into your open leg rocker inhale rock back stretch out through the legs exhale bend those knees gradually as you come up breathe in roll back and exhale we're going to add to it so at the top of the movement when you're on the shoulder blades you're going to pull your knees to your ears exhale bend the knees gradually come up breathe in roll back add that pause Pull the knees towards your ears. Exhale, bend the knees gradually as you come up. Try not to miss any part of your spine as you go back. Pull the knees, feel a lovely stretch in the lower back. Exhale, bend as you come up. Two more, breathe in, pull and exhale, bend and come up. One more time, breathe in, pull the knees and exhale, come up. Cross the ankles over, move back in your mat. You're going to hold on to your knees here and pull the upper body between the legs. Feeling a lovely stretch in the hips, cradling your legs now with your arms, drop the head down, take a deep breath in, send the breath all the way down to the tail, exhale out. One more deep breath in and breathe out, lift up. So one more exercise we're going to do crab so you're going to place the hands on the outsides of the feet so you're wrapping your arms around your legs taking hold of the outsides of the feet and lift the feet up see how that feels first make sure you've got enough mat behind you and in front of you pull the heels in breathe in we're going to roll back tuck the chin in like all rolling exercises crisscross through the feet exhale come up go all the way over top of the head comes to the floor keep the feet on the floor lift the hips and then go back again so breathing in crisscross exhale come all the way over top of the head to the floor and then go back again breathe in crisscross exhale come all the way over top of the head to the floor anchor with the feet lift the hips last time breathe in crisscross exhale all the way over and come back to the start stretch your legs out in front of you now flex through the feet hands to the backs of the knees pull the upper body down trying to get your forearm forearms even underneath the legs and pull down as much as you can drop your head to your thighs or your legs deep breath in and breathe out lift up hands come behind the hips spread through the fingers fingers out to either side lift through the chest squeeze those shoulder blades back look up towards the ceiling take a deep breath into all that space and exhale release walk the hands back into your tall or straight spine push into the fingertips again open through the chest squeeze the shoulder blades deep breath in and breathe out release thank you for doing pilates with me today i hope you enjoyed this session don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't done already maybe leave a comment or a like have a great weekend and i'll see you next week